Hey guys, this is Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the first video in what, what might be a little set of videos uh, where I walk you through some examples of uh, contract management and budget management on some survey projects, some real estate projects that I'm working on. And I, I want to do some more of these videos about basically mon money management, both at the project level and at the business level. And I've done a little bit, I've, I've done a video or two about that before we looked at a contract budget management spreadsheet, I think in one of my other videos, and, and we're going to get back into that spreadsheet in this set of videos. So what I want to do in this particular video is show you how I'm going to track some requests for some proposals and some authorization of some additional services on one of my real estate projects in the Bay Area. So let's go ahead and, and pull that project up in Basecamp. All right, so I've got that project up in Basecamp. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up the uh, the project and we're just going to add some messages to the message board um, and, and attach some of the important emails that we've gotten from the client. So let's go ahead and open the project. We're going to open up the message board. And then what I have, I also have in my project folder here under the project management subfolder. So basically uh, on this project, I've got the original contract work, which is complete. I've got the second additional services request, which is the phase two surveys. That's what we're working on right now. And then they've asked for, for again, for some additional work. So they've asked me for some CCTV pipe inspections of some underground utilities some storm and sewer and then just uh, a few days ago we got another request so I'm gonna make a new folder here this is gonna be um, ASR 3 which is gonna be uh, uh, some additional underground utility mapping so what I like to do is I like to yeah, I keep a folder for my original contract and then Every time I get an additional service request, I, rec I create a folder. Sometimes we get this work, sometimes we don't, but I create a folder anyways, at least to keep keep track of the request. So you can see here in the second phase survey folder uh, that I've got a list of emails that have come from the client or from my, uh, my civil design team. And so we want to go ahead and get these. Uh, we want to record these communications in Basecamp on the message board, and uh, then we're going to go in, and in another video we'll go in and we'll take some of the information that's pertinent from these messages and update our contract uh, budget management spreadsheet. And I'm actually going to move this latest message here. Uh, this goes in this uh, ASR3, and I, I have to work on that still. I haven't done that yet. Okay, so... Anyway, so I wanted to show you that I do have these messages here, and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna record a note in uh, Basecamp in the Basecamp project on the message board for each of these five messages. So I'm gonna pull this back out of the way here. Okay, so we're in the message board for the project. Let's go ahead and do a new message. I'm gonna do these in chronological order. So uh, I already typed in this first message here. So my civil engineer authorized me to work on the primary lease parcel, the land description and plat, and he did that before we got the contract, so I just want to make a note of that. So I'm going to say Landon was authorized by PKF Civil to prepare the lease parcel land description and plat for the primary lease parcels before the client approved the task order, uh, approved the purchase order, task order. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach that message that I got from my civil engineer. So this project's a little unique. I'm, I'm not actually managing a, a lot of the contract admin. Some of that's being done by our civil. Uh, so sometimes I have the docs and sometimes I don't. <laughs> So in this case, he had a conversation with the client, authorized the work, and I'm just going to attach the email message that I got from him. Okay. 
and then I'm going to post. So if we come back to the message board now, we can see that's in there. So I'm going to do the next one I have on the 18th. And I'm going to say... Uh, bah, 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 bah. Purchase... Oop. Order from, uh, for ASR1 which is their task order three was approved by Google that's our client so then I'm gonna go ahead and attach that message Let's say oop, just put a little note here Google approved the purchase order and task order for survey additional Services request one, and I'm going to put a note, task order three. So what probably happened here is this is my first request for additional services on the survey side, but we had the original contract, which was task order one, and it looks like my civil design team has done some additional work too. That was probably task order two, so that's why those are numbers are a little out of sync. So we'll post that message. Okay. And actually, let me show you something I should be doing. I'm gonna, and I'll sh I'll show you how to do this in a, in another video. Uh, you can you can actually set up your own categories here for messages, which then get filtered by. And so I should be adding these to my contract admin category that I made. So let's do that, and let's do that for this one too. That way we can filter. I'll show you that in a minute. I'll show you how to filter using that category. All right, we got three more of these to do. So this came in on the 27th of November. I'm gonna say Google request from Google for CCTV pipe inspection costs. Okay, and then down here I'll give a little little more detail. So Google requested a fee estimate for the CCTV inspection of four storm and sewer pipes. Okay, then we'll go ahead and attach that email. This hasn't been authorized yet. They're just asking me for a cost. Make sure we pick that category. Okay, come back into the message board. We got two more. Try that again, sorry. I didn't post that all the way. Okay, so this was on December 4th. Uh, we say, we're gonna say Google notification from Google that purchase order three was approved. So Google notified BKF Civil that purchase order three, task order three was approved. So that was the official approval we got on the fourth to start work, even though I started a little early. My design team asked me to start a little early. So I need to actually edit this. Uh, this is not was not approved. Purchase order for ASR, this was when it was sent was uh let's see i need to edit that i say was sent to google so it looks like we got it over there on the uh, 18th they approved it on the fourth okay we got one more of these so also on the fourth of december uh let's see we got a request from google for additional uh, land description package for Highway 101 excess right away. Then in my note, I'm going to say Todd Schultz with Google asked Landon Blake to prepare an additional lease. 
plan description package for a proposed lease parcel in the excess right of way of Highway 101. And then we're going to just make another note. Todd instructed Landon to proceed with the work and bill it under the future work phase of uh, survey ASR01. Let's spell it out. Purchase order three. Okay, so what's going on here is Google's asking me, they're not asking me, they're telling me to do some additional work and they're telling me to go ahead and bill it to the additional services phase that we have in that last purchase order. And it's very important that we hang on to that message in case there's questions later. So we're going to attach that. That way we can demonstrate that we were asked to do the work and we can get paid for it. Okay, so now I have those uh, contract administration messages on my message board with the the uh, related emails attached. And now if I want to filter, I can just come up here and grab this category that I made, contract admin. Oh, and it's not working. <laughs> uh, I must not have saved it. Let's try it again. Those aren't saving. The categories aren't saving, so edit. It's because I didn't hit the save changes button because I'm a dummy. So we'll edit those real quick and then I'll show you how that filter works. You can see when I do this, when I pick the category and save it, um, that it shows you the little icon. Um, I don't know how to, there's a limited set of icons. I'd like to know how to load more icons in here. If somebody knows how to do that, maybe they can reply to the comments on this video. All right, so I did that properly. Now when we go back to the message board. We can use that category and it will filter so we just see the messages in that category, which is pretty handy. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. It went a little long. Apologize about that. I will uh, do another really short video that shows you how to add your own custom categories to the message board in Basecamp. And then uh, we'll dig into this contract budget management spreadsheet, and we'll, we'll get that up to date based on uh, some of the information that we've loaded here. All right, guys, thanks for watching.